Happy New Year, my functional mafia, my fit for function family. I want to wish you all a happy 2023. We're kicking things off properly today in the family by going through our goal setting meetings. This is how they're going to look for our family members. And if you're looking at setting some New Year's resolutions, just call it goal setting. This is how you're going to need to structure it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is brain dump all of your ideas out on paper. That's writing down everything you want to achieve, everything you failed to achieve last year, everything that stood in your way. You basically want to get all of it out of your brain and dump it onto a piece of paper. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to define your mission. Your mission is the statement that is going to oversee all of your goals. This is something that should be driven across the next five to 10 years. And it's something based on your core values. Next up is method. This is the method for how you're going to achieve your mission statement. This should be a statement. It should be a sentence and no more. And it should apply to all of your goals. For example, our mission here at Fit for Function is to offer the best coaching service in the world. Our method is creating high performance as a daily habit. Finally, your motive. This is what's driving you each day to pursue your mission. My motive is the passionate pursuit of purpose. Now you're going to do a SWOT analysis. You're going to have a look at what you dumped onto your paper and you're going to move them into a list of strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. This is a really basic SWOT analysis, something that if you do well is going to make your goal setting for the year particularly easy. So let's get into that now, a SWOT analysis. Really simply, in strengths, you're going to put all of the positive aspects, all of your strengths, all of your strong points, all of the things that are going to help you get towards your goals. You're then going to put your weaknesses, your barriers, your limitations, your vices, anything that is negative is going to fall under weaknesses. You've now got opportunities. These are the areas for the next year that you have the opportunity to change, the opportunity to achieve within, the opportunity to progress towards. These are your opportunities. And finally, you have threats. Now, these are barriers outside of your control. These are barriers or obstacles in your way that you cannot control. They threaten your pursuit of high performance. Write these down on paper as well. This is your SWOT analysis for 2023. You are now mission driven. You know what your mission is for 2023. You know what the motive is for 2023. And you know what the method is that is going to help you achieve your goals in 2023. But now is the time to define your goals and find clarity in them. This is what ensures you have clear purpose for 2023 and the pursuit of high performance in your life. This is creating clarity. This is the final step in setting your goals. Now, step one in finding clarity is finding what helps you build momentum. This is the step where you're going to find out how you're going to make clear decisions throughout the year. That's the decisions that you make to get out of bed in the morning, the decisions you make to go to the gym, the decisions you make to move towards your goals. So step one is a statement that you're going to use every day to make sure that your decisions are positive for you. Everything builds momentum. Make sure it's productive. But what's your statement going to be? Second, and this is arguably the most important part of the list, but the easiest part of the list to put together if you've done the other steps correctly. This is where we find direction, clear ideals and goals. And this is the first stage where we're actually going to write out some goals on paper. 
For example, you may want to look better, feel better in 2023, but this is not your direction. That is the end result. The direction may be to train in the gym five hours a week, train daily for 60 minutes, commit to three sessions of one hour a week in the gym. These are your directional goals. These are what you're going to write down in your to-do list every week, every month, even maybe every day. Once you've written these down and you've got your direction down on paper, you're now going to use our Fit for Function schedule planners to input these tasks into every day, week and or month for the rest of the year. And you're going to do that right now. You're going to go and get the schedule planners for the whole year, January all the way to December. And you're going to write them in right now. We're doing that now because once your mind is made up, we're not allowing for any change. Your goals have been determined and now it is about pursuing them. The important actionable part of your goal setting. So go ahead, download the schedule planner and get writing in your directional goals. And finally, clear intentions, finding achievement, finding purpose. This is the final aspect of clarity and also the final aspect of your goal setting. What I want you to do here is I want you to first have a think. Think about what brought you into this video. What made you feel as if you needed support? What was the driver that brought you here? The final result. I want you to write that down. That now becomes your big goal. But the second part of this, and this is the important part as well, is about finding out if you will feel satisfaction or achievement once you've had that goal. So now what I want you to do, I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes and imagine you are fast asleep, peacefully sleeping. Once you open your eyes, not yet, but once you do, I want you to imagine all of your problems have been removed and that big goal has been achieved. I want you to imagine first what it feels like to have achieved this goal. What's the feeling that has overcome you? what smells, what sounds, what people are around you. And then finally, open your eyes and write down on the paper what was happening, what had changed, what specifically had occurred that made you realise your goal had been achieved. Write this down now. This should be four to six sentences. It should be at least a paragraph describing the specific changes that have occurred for you to know your goal has been achieved. And that's it. That's a simple breakdown of what we're going to go through with all of our one-to-one by Fit for Function clients today. This is an exciting process, but it takes time. It takes intentional action, but it also takes honesty. For me, this is what being fit for function is really about. We are the type of people who use problem solving to achieve our high performance results. We all have a different definition of high performance here at Fit for Function, but everyone can achieve it using proven systems that get the results you deserve.